granting licenses to artisanal refiner, refiners to establish modular refineries is one sure way of dealing with environmental pollution in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. This is a submission of a non-governmental organization at a news conference in Genogwa, where members of the FACE initiative also called for the introduction of laws to prohibit bunkering to stem pipeline vandalism in communities. The Niger Delta is the hub of oil extraction and processing in Nigeria since 1956. A period of 50 years has witnessed oil spills caused mainly by equipment failure and a small percentage of sabotage leading to environmental pollution and health hazards. Artisanal refining and illegal bunkering activities have negative impact on the environment, but a non-governmental organization is seeking alternative livelihood for the locals to save the ecosystem. Identify bunkers and artisanal refiners and um, subsidize licensing to encourage indigenous refiners to establish modular refineries incorporating proper waste management um, and marketing of byproduct for the production of other petroleum products and to enforce periodic facility integrity check to ensure old and worn out facilities are replaced to prevent equipment failure. The FACE initiative believes the introduction of a legal framework will guard against illegal bunkering and sundry crimes eroding the nation's wealth. Institute laws prohibiting vandalism, bunkering and artisanal refining to deter community members from vandalizing oil facilities and escalates unprofessional activities of security agencies to cover for vandalism, bunkering, artisanal refining activities in communities. Our people have continued to complain of how they have been denied of their means of livelihood. When you talk about uh, their fish ponds, their fishing waters in the creeks, the rivers, while the community also has responsibility, the local government also has responsibility, the state should play a leading role. We want to see the agri sector coming back I believe in starting small. The group wants the federal government to review its agriculture policy to accommodate peculiarities of the region and provide farm inputs, seedlings, fertilizers, storage facilities, and mechanized equipment to promote commercial production in agriculture. Ovietime George, TVC News, Yenagoa.